Today we're talking about the diopter and how to use it. And just a quick reminder that I make videos like this all the time to help you with your photography and your videography. So if you don't want to miss out on any of those videos, click the subscribe button and the notification bell. That way, every time you go into YouTube and I upload a new video, it'll notify you automatically. So please subscribe. So today I wanted to talk about the camera diopter, um, what it is and why you should use it. Uh, and now this is going to be mostly for people that wear glasses. So if you don't wear glasses, this probably is not going to mean anything to you. Uh, but you should listen up anyway because um, it can affect your camera. Um, and I'll explain why in a second. The, um, the diopter, if you don't know what I'm talking about, it's a little wheel that's next to the, typically next to the viewfinder on pretty much every camera I've ever seen. Um, and it looks like a little wheel um, that you can use to dial your prescription uh, of your glasses. So you can dial this little, that little dial there back and forth and if you're long-sided or short-sided, this should um, be able to correct the vision through the eyepiece. So this doesn't affect anything with the lens, doesn't affect anything with the camera, it's only through the, eye, through the viewfinder or the eyepiece. Um, so if you, haven't, if you haven't got your glasses with you and you still need to go out and get some shots, you can dial in your prescription using that little dial. And much the same way as you focus binoculars where you use the, the, the wheel above the, the lenses and, um, and you can then correct it for whatever prescription you have. But the reason that I use it is that I don't have, um, I don't use glasses for, um, for long-sided or short-sided. What I have is I have reading glasses. Now, if you've got reading glasses, you will know what a pain it is uh, to use your camera and your glasses at the same time because in order to see the viewfinder or the, or in order to see the back of the screen of the camera or the LCD up at the top or any of the buttons for that matter, um, I need to have my reading glasses on. But when I'm looking through the viewfinder, I have to take my glasses off because um, if you don't know how reading glasses work, uh, they only allow you to see pretty much anything within arm's length. Uh, arm's length. Anything beyond that is just going to appear as blurry. So what I do is I actually dial in the measurement for my reading glasses in the opposite direction so that it takes away the effect of the reading glasses once I look through the, through the viewfinder. So I just keep my reading glasses on. Um, I look, um, I look, I find the subject, I use the autofocus on the camera to set the focus correctly and then without touching anything, I put my glasses on, I look through the viewfinder and then I dial this little wheel here until the Im image is sharp. So what I've done essentially is reverse the effect of the glasses. So now I can look through the viewfinder wearing my reading glasses to see long distances but then when I bring the camera down, I can also read the screen and also the LCD uh, and any of the other buttons as well. So it removes the need for me to put, keep taking my glasses on and off, which is what is really irritating about reading glasses. So that's something that I thought would be worth sharing because I know a lot of people as you get older, um, you're going to have to wear reading glasses. It's just a fact of life. Um, so hopefully this is something that you might find useful. It's been very useful for me and uh, that's why I thought I would share it with you. Anyway, that's all I have for you today. Um, I hope you found this useful. If you did, please give it, the video a like. If you haven't subscribed to the channel, um, I would ask you to consider subscribing. Uh, the button is just over here somewhere. I think it's just over there. It really does help the channel because um, it, it'd be great to have you along as, as part of the group as well. Um, and also any comments that you might have, I'd love to hear about it uh, in the comments section. So please make sure that you leave a note. Anyway, that's all from me. Thank you very much for watching and I will see you in the next video. Yeah,